Last time he high sided, of course, what was that at the end of last year? Blimey, oh, that's a, a hot damn. Reduced to 20. Green flies. He's got that bike absolutely flying. Marquez did not get away well. One of the Ducatis is up. First corner, the new Yamaha whole shot device working a dream. The whole shot then. They've got a brilliant launch off the line with the Cathy's whole shot device. Ran a bit wide in the first corner. He's finale has got the start he wanted, the start he dreamed of. But this is now the world champion, Mark Marquez. All still there. Heading down now into turn six. The soft front tire will not give you straight up and down braking to be caught. Is that why Vinales and Rossi have gone for it? It's a gamble. You have to say, will it pay off? Quattararo. Now Miller has got his eyes set firmly on the world champion. Oh, Maverick Vin Pushing her early to try and make that gap that he wanted to do. He did it in Sepang. He said he's first coming through turn eight, lighting up that rear tire. Maverick out the seat. Mar Marquez were on board with three. Get Bonner to learn how to start in a MotoGP race. Don't look at Marquez. Don't look at Vinales. Don't look at Quattararo. Look at Bradley. Five places. He's one behind Rossi into 11th. Yeah, Rossi check. He's in 10th place now then. Got in the making. He's the first South African ever to appear in the MotoGP category in the modern years ago. The South African fans, you have got a new hero to be roaring on in 2020. Comes Quattararo. He had to get that done. Brilliantly done, but he's run it wide and... Oh. Can it get any worse for the factory Suzuki team? Alex Rins out through injury. In this shortened season, 13 races. Corner. Through, there was another gap and Maverick said, thank you very much. This is brilliant stuff here from Maverick. Since mid-November last year, Marquez strikes back again on the brakes into the Pedrosa call on this lap number three. Marquez and Vignal has exchanged the lead three times. Well, you'd hear an eruption of noise coming into this section of the circuit, but of course you're just cheering from the Quattararo already now. This is Orbidelli. Rossi and Petrucci behind him. Motor 2 world champion, one of the best we know. So hard for him not to make mistakes in his first ever Moto GP race, you, but this is class so far. Do you know what? I think, I mean, the pace not good enough. If this is Maverick's rhythm early on, I'm going. I'm going to try and get in response at the moment to Marquez. Mark already, he was lethal in the third second. I oh, dared though, he was out, out on the it's, uh, outside on the green stuff, and that again, a twitch from the rear as well. This is all or nothing for Mark at the moment. This is moment. Yeah, and he knows as well if he pushes the pace, ups his rhythm, he's done the fastest lap of the race more. Marquez is thinking all the time, isn't he, about how he can exploit potential use break it. Oh, oh he's, he's gone. gone! He's gone! Marquez. We lost sight to Marquez! He he's stayed on board. Oh, the rear going oh, into turn my four. Oh, goodness me, drama here in the opening race! He's trying to air in front of Maverick Vinales. Where on earth had Mark Marquez gone? Off the circuit. Oh, look at that! Back to his old trips. Welcome back to MotoGP, Mark Marquez on the elbow. Full of gravel. Brilliant reactions, brilliant reflexes. Lin Jarvis can't believe in dirty tyres. He does not care one iota. Simon, your thoughts on that, please? He was thinking about having Mark um, Vignali. Last time he high sided, of course. What was that at the end of last year? Blimey, oh, that's a, a hot He's not even in the race, injured. And Mark Mark, cack like reflexes of the world well, champion. He's not human. No. He's not, honestly, he's not no. human. I, I see Mark Marquez out. I can tell you, their ears are pricked up in a big, big way. How is, how's that soft front tyre going to hold up for, Ma for Maverick Vinales? It's a I, I cannot believe what we've witnessed already in this short time. It, that was true. Stages of this 2020 season. My goodness, here comes Fabio Quattararo. He wants to hold off. Brilliantly done from the Frenchman. Yamaha a 1 2 again. Quattararo. Line cut to the middle of the track, so Jack Miller could try and blitz by him again with his superior. He's at about 12 kilometers an hour over Fabio Quattararo. That's worrying for him, he said, going to angle of that front tyre. What can you say? Ridiculous, outrageous. He is down. How does he do it? It's well, just astonishing. I'll tell you something. It's already, after a few mistakes, made it up to 14th place. So there's points on offer. You're going to see... Everybody else might as well pack up. Yeah, right. just pack up and let's just call it a day there. He is a uh, elite. He's pushing so, so hard to try and get away. Simon. Guys, the other thing to compose himself. This Maverick Vinales looking for his first victory in MotoGP. Mark Marquez. And he's cutting the gap to those ahead of him as well. Well, he's the fastest man on the side. He's going to be gobbling up Lecaona, Petrucci and Oliveira very, very quickly. Now, look at this. The pace has been slowed down to the yep. late 138. And this is because Maverick's thinking about preserving... The problem is, Matt, is it brings all these guys into contention. I mean, the yep. likes of Miller, Banyan, we're in shot here for a podium.
Valentino yeah. Rossi struggling a bit. There's a big gap between more. At the moment, he's been able to keep Andrea De Vizioso at bay for the whole of this race. It's now with the pace like this, could still make the podium. Right? The ride of a lifetime. That's what happened. happened at turn four. I'm full of after qualifying that he was torn between the hard and the soft, but so unusual to see. I mean, if, if it pays off, you look like a genius. If it doesn't, here is Maverick out front. This is not squeaky clean. This is not Sepang. Anders here, he's not close enough to make a move. And again on the front there, look at that. He's wide in there. And Fabio Quattararo, has he made the big mistake? He's shaking his head there. He's dropped back to third place. Fabio is there anything? The front after that mistake by Vinales. Miller in second. Marquez continue. They head over the crest down into turn two. For Maverick, you can see there he's using the back brake and everything just to try and get that bike stopped. The speed of that KTM has always been there right from the start in 2017. What they've not had away in the past, the wheel spin city on the KTM in these hot conditions normally. They've ground because in normally in these track conditions, Polis Bargro fades really. You here, you just never know. I mean, it's so hard to predict what's going to happen based on what's happened already. Well, that would be sent slightly more moist and cool the conditions I seem to recall in just, 2018. Just a bit, yeah. <laughs> 18th place, but something obviously went wrong. He must have gone down and rejoined, you'd think. Maneuver around. Valentino Rossi has done a 139.3. That's on par with. So at this stage of the race, Rossi has actually found some pretty good rhythm. Mm. He's up in ninth place at the moment. That's really good from the Red Bull Tech 3 rider. Well and truly hit the brick wall. He's down to the 140s now, Smith. He's plummeted down. He's doing low 139s himself, which is the same pace as Vinales. As well, in the meantime, fellow rookie, Ika Lekawona's in 12th. I really like predicting the future when it comes to MotoGP. I mean, look at him. He's up behind Miguel Oliveira here, who's in ninth. <laughs> oh, dearie me. We'll be hearing Le Marcier for the first time. Yeah, since what, 19 Marquez at all, he had no choice. Oh yeah, get out of my way. There was a big uh, orange and red motorcycle. Fire was his last lap. Which makes him yet again the quickest view of your top three with 13 laps to go. So Widler is on for second place. Sorry to say at this stage for Vinales fans, it looks like but he dips into the 39s, not as quick as Miller, nowhere near as quick as Quack. Okay, yes. Fabio Quattararo is oh. on a 2020 bike. Rossi's same. He's in love. He was a goner. And he's just had to witness him go through. Rossi and Vinales. Can't get, cannot get it stopped. And of course, when you're in that group sometimes, when there's no a lot of issues at it, but you can't utilise it. I go really, really wide and through comes Franco Morbidelli. But he's got the inside line as Polis Baccia. Mark Marquez, number 93 in eighth place. Remarkable. Performance by Marquez. What a recovery. There is Marquez, and just at the top of your picture, Quattararo stretching away from Jack. Here is Davizioso now going through on Peco Bagnaia, and we said that Davizioso through to the podium. Funny old game, motorcycle racing, isn't it? June 28, here we are, two years later, on the brink of becoming a mo. Eight seconds clear of Jack Mirri, took half a second out of the Australian on that last lap. Controlling Vinales back in third. Vinales got nothing for him. He's about a second. He's got his hands on it. Fabio Quattararo suffered heartbreak here last year when the mechanical got in the way. At the moment, as Matt said, there would never be a better chance for him to win. He was on the podium five times last year, the Australian. All of them on the third. That would be astonishing. Peko Bagnaia is really struggling a bit here now. The last year, a now it's the turn of Franco Morbidelli. Marquez, though, you know, right? He's looking potentially at the podium. The Morbidelli, Bagnaia, Espargaro, and Davizioso. But right now, with the time he's got in his pocket, for Maverick Vinales. Well, it would sting a lot because he's now right on the tail of Frank. Left here in the opening race of 2020. Mark Marquez, if you're just tuning. Number six. So you'd think that Marquez will be making light work very, very soon. Mark Marquez, he takes all the room needed. Well, this is like a PlayStation game. Is Bagnaia struggling a little and Pecco then trying to return the favour? Well, he, he loves the psychological walk into the gravel trap at turn four. Probably thought, well, that's Marquez. We don't have to worry about him for the rest of the race. He's on the podium. Unless he makes another mistake, he's on the podium because these guys in front of him can't live. Across the line we go. Let's see how far away. He's only six seconds off the lead at the moment. As it stands, Fabio Quattararo is riding beautifully out front. The thing is, Matt, he doesn't have to now push the boat out. He doesn't need to chase low to one foot. He's just 
dropping them with such ease. He's had some remarks. 12, his last ever six tenths quicker than Vinales. Well, it, I don't... Lo it looks like Miller as well is cut nibble. Oh, Valentino Rossi, what's happened to him? Front tyres are covered in dirt, that's for sure. As Marquez here goes through on his teammate for 2020 and Paulus Barg, new teammate for next year. No, you can have that, Mark. And I'll just watch you try. Vizioso, now these two are old foes, let's be honest. Davizioso will not believe his eye. So his long and dis distinguished career. And he's going to have salt rubbed into the experience to have Mark Marquez come by him and then go for Vinales and Miller. Here's Miz Davizioso out. Vinales takes second place back from Miller. It's all and surely for the podium. He holds on to fourth place ahead of Andrea Davizioso. So by the way, la fastest rider on the last lap in the entire field was Brad Binder. Sensational with a capital S. No other word for it. What a Here we go. Here we go. Into the final corner. He lines it up. He's got the inside. Just the podium. And he's back up into third place. The team love it. You can almost hit. He says, OK, well, you can work for it. Block pass. That was a bit sweet. Marquez. You just knew that was coming. You pass Marquez, you better make it stick. Because you know at the very next... Looks like resistance is futile for the Australian. Marquez then now starts as well. No points off of the day for the Spanish rookie. What's the gap? Well, he's just eating up about three of those tents in that corner alone. At this stage of the race. This is just simply a stop. second place here. At the very start of this race, Maverick Vinales was the man. He's forced his way through. And it is when you get Mark Marquez angry, this is what happens. I have to take it off. I mean, I'm almost speechless. Gobsmacking the go. He's four laps away from securing his first ever MotoGP victory. And you know what? That please, no, please, no. Do you know what would make it worse? Is if he sees P2. Oh. All right, because that's a fast one. Is that four again? It's four again. It's caught him out once more. Let's have another look at this then. Front was twitching a bit. He lands. Can Trials and tribulations of this race for Mark Marquez. How many more talking points do you want? Oh, he looks hurt there. He looks really hurt. Yeah, he does. I mean, is there something wrong with that right arm? Previous with shoulders, hasn't it? I cannot believe this race. Wow. Is it extraordinary? Like that, that's going to hurt. Guys, you know, it, it's also sad to is one of the best performances I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not. Now, at the moment, though, look at Polis Bargaro. All of a sudden, Polis Bargaro sees a dry podium. Rose to lose. He's home and dry here with three laps to go. What a tag name at the start of a MotoGP season for the first time in his MotoGP career. Horrible crash. And he got nudged by the bike for good measure oh as well. His shoulder will a bit. Sorry, Sai. Didn't deserve this after a truly heroic performance. Here we go then. Um, said that this was going to be one of the most intense and physical battles for MotoGP riders. I'll take anything away from this young man. Absolutely. Because brilliant. this 21 year old sent. These guys are all scrapping it out for podiums. They are some precious, precious points that we've said all weekend long. Any mistakes could be punished. I didn't expect them to join these guys on the podium. Fabio Quattararo, these two laps were 13th, having been 25 seconds adrift. I mean, Deserves there's a so point. many. Five days since we last saw these MotoGP boys going hard at it. We wonder if it'd be worth the wait. Days to try and get through what's happened here. you know what the best thing about it all is? We get to come back and do it all again. It's a black brace, and he's holding that. Don't season would ramp up the pressure, ramp up the intensity to perform. About to be taken to the medical centre in an ambulance. We wish all three of them well to hear last year when that gear shifter denied him what looked like a second place. Quateraro is about to add his name to an illustrious list of Moton for Yamaha. They can barely watch. Diego Kivellini there doesn't know what to do with him. Fabio Quateraro was born in April 1999. He was the last <laughs> Frenchman to win a MotoGP race on Spanish soil in Valencia. Wins his first ever Grand Prix in MotoGP. Bobby is third, Miller is fourth, and Morbidelli fifth. The 20 will answer for the first time.